that uses guns during their worship service and it's setting up in East Tennessee, Granger County. They say they're preparing for a time when they'll be forced to use these weapons. Sam Luther shows us the new retreat center and talks to the founder of Rod of Iron. We believe that everybody, every, especially Christian, should have an AR-15, should have the means to defend themselves. Sean Moon is the pastor of Rod of Iron Ministries. The non-denominal church founded in Pennsylvania now owns these 225 acres of land in the rural Thornhill community. Entering the gate, you see a sign saying, we are not responsible for accidents or injuries. This property will be used as a retreat destination. The ministry and a few worshipers already live here. Sean is the son of Sun Myung Moon, a self-proclaimed Messiah who founded the Unification Church. Moon, well known for conducting mass weddings, died in 2012, but is a prominent figure of Rod of Iron Ministries. In our church, we believe that he is the returning Jesus, so uh, he anointed me as his heir and successor. Uh, doesn't mean I'm the Messiah, no, but I would be something like the Pope. Sean Moon says he preaches from the Bible and doesn't think he or his dad is God. The church believes the AR-15 is the biblical rod of iron that will save America from tyrants. When Moon begins his message, he wears a crown of bullets, encouraging families to all own AR-15s, and they can practice using the weapons on the new Granger County property. We have kids on the range that are watching and things like that, and if their parents want to let them shoot, we allow, we, we allow for that, but you know, everything would be watched by range officers. While guns and bullets are common to see in a service, they're only fired out on the range. It's symbolic for Moon and an important role in his messages. While this Granger County property purchased last year will eventually have people staying there, cabins and small homes are being built, along with nature trails and a gardening space. But in the event that evil does rear its ugly head, uh, all citizens will be able to stop that evil and protect uh, innocent lives. With the hopes of never having to use the weapons they carry, but prepared to do so if need be, hoping to enjoy the East Tennessee beauty while widening their following. In Granger County, Sam Luther, WVLT News. They're already holding church services at Thornhill. Every week, it's a new location. Construction on the retreat should take three, maybe five years to finish.